This is one of my favorite chemical reactions. It's pretty easy to set up and it happens really quickly. So we have copper sulfate, CuSO4, and I'm dissolving that right now just in distilled water in a small watch glass. We'll get it dissolved a little bit, then we'll add aluminum, and those two are gonna react in what's called a single displacement or single replacement reaction. Essentially, there's our aluminum, and we're putting it in that solution of copper sulfate, and you should see a reaction where the aluminum dissolves and the copper, the blue, that comes out and we see copper. However, we don't see anything, and in fact, if we wait a while, we'll start to see a little bit, but not much happens. So to speed this reaction up, if we add some chloride ions, Cl minus, so we could add some NaCl, that would dissolve and we'd have these chloride ions, that really speeds the reaction up. It acts much like a catalyst would. So let's jump forward and do that. So everything you see happening from here on out is gonna be real time. This is actually how quick the reaction takes place. So we put the salt there and that starts dissolving into the Na plus and the Cl minus, the sodium and then the chloride ion. And immediately you see some bubbles are starting to form. So this will go on for a while and we should start to see kind of some black dots, very dark areas. That's gonna be the copper, which is coming out of the liquid. It's dissolved in the liquid. So that copper will start forming on the aluminum and the aluminum that's dissolving and that will go into solution. So there you see those black dots, those dark areas where the copper that's forming there is a solid, solid Cu and the aluminum Al that's dissolving. It's becoming Al3 plus and going into the liquid there. So I'll let this go. It takes about five minutes for the reaction to go pretty near completion. So you can watch or you can skip ahead to the end of the video.
Okay, so we're back. Um, at this point in the video, I turned the video off and left the reaction alone for about an hour, hour and a half, and then I came back. And this is what I saw. So the, the first thing you'll notice is that there's no more blue color. That's because all of the dissolved copper, the Cu2 plus ions, they've been changed into solid copper. And that solid copper is what you see, the red. It's kind of a very spongy type thing, but it's copper metal. The aluminum, which is almost all gone, there's a few little pieces of aluminum in there. You can see one at the bottom. That is all dissolved into the solution. So that clear liquid contains the aluminum metal. It's just dissolved. It's an ion, Al3+. You'll also notice that there's these little kind of shiny flecks on the surface. Those are pure copper. They are copper metal, and it's a much kind of cleaner copper metal than you find in the liquid. And that was from the CuSO4, those blue crystals that I put in originally. This is Dr. B with a reaction that I enjoy watching and using to teach. And thank you for watching.